What is poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV in the mother place to be. And today we have another Genshin Impact video. Uh, but before we start, I want to say thank you guys for all of you subscribed lately. I know I haven't been uploading. There has been a big reason for that. My recording software sucks, but I fixed it. Since you see me recording. But <laughs> we are going to be talking about team comps, team synergy, and making it make sense make your team make sense all right so if you look at what the team that i have right now you can see you can see three things you can see damage dealer and Deluke. you can see crowd control with sucrose and i'm going to get into why you need sucrose on your team later on and you see hailing uh hailing you see healing with barbara and chi chi now the thing with Barbara and Chi Chi, they also serve two different roles. All right, so with Chi Chi, she has the freeze. So if I'm using freeze and I switch out into Deluc, she has the melt. If I'm using Barbara, she has the the book that gives you an, an attack buff once you switch out. So the thing is, everything is centered around Deluc. Now I can make build guides for everybody and everything, but that's not going to help you in the long run if your team isn't synergized to do what it needs to do. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean um, when I when I do this domain. So as of right now, I'm level uh, I'm adventure rank 42. And I want to show you guys exactly how this team helps me out. Now, your team is obviously going to change over time and you need to change up your team uh, depending on what you're you're doing. So right now I'm farming um, artifacts for Sucrose. Um, I'm actually very, very close to getting her to uh, her next ascension level. So I'm going to need her artifacts to reflect that level 80 status. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, let me show you guys exactly what's going on here. OK, so this is the ley line that gives you the animo pieces and the maiden pieces as well. Um, I could definitely use some more maiden pieces, some good maiden pieces for Barbara. And also, um, I may do some for Chi Chi, depending on how they drop. This is mainly for Sucrose and trying to get her artifacts up to up to par so I can start doing more uh, five star artifact runs on, you know, on, on different ley lines. So um, I'm going to show you exactly how Sucrose plays a part. I'm going to show you exactly how Chi Chi and Barbara play part. Um, I really do enjoy the uh, the double healing. It's, it's kind of ideal. So look at all this crowd control here. I can do this. Boom. And look at the damage she's got. Her damage is so amazing. Um, when I when I get done, I'm gonna show you her her build. And like I said, you can try and emulate that build, but um, like I said, it's better to. Oh oh aha. You hit me anyway. Anyway, like I say, it's better to test and see how things go for your specific build, if that makes any sense, or your your specific team comp. All right, so I got healing with Chi Chi. If I want to, I can heal up Deluke with Barbara, which I'm I'm probably gonna do that here in a second. Oh, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need it. Not with Chi Chi. Oh, he's right there. Like, damn, what's this invisible wall? But now we got this with Chi Chi. Boom. We got more healing. More healing. Barbara out. Boom. So Barbara's a very good healer as well. She's healing the team. And now Deluke is well, Sucrose is ready to come out and do some more crowd control. She already has her ult back. We can do some more crowd control. Now let's do that. Boom. Hit him. There we go. Now Deluke. With the things. Oh, and she's gonna pull off her ult. I don't like this at all. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Let's run away. Let's run away. Let's run away. All right, but as you guys can see, I have plenty of time to beat them, and that's all because of Sucrose's crowd control and getting them together when I need them together to take them out fast. And now we're doing some more healing with Chi Chi and a bit of damage because this uh, this particular ley line uh, it boosts physical damage. So that's one good perk for this one which is why I'm able to do it as, as good as I am. Wow, can you not do that? I'm more <laughs> I'm more focused when I do this <laughs> when I'm not recording. But all right, you get Sucrose in here with more crowd control. 
Three times. There we go. The loop. Boom. 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 So he's doing some massive damage. I, I love... Yo, Deluke is just so... He's just good, man. He's just good. What What else can you say about Deluke? So whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, like whenever you get into Deluke, he takes a lot of damage. Chi-Chi is right there with her cooldown. As well as Barbara. I can go into Barbara right now. Boom. And pop it. More healing. More healing. Even popping Chi-Chi and then popping her with the freezing. Oh, man. It's, it's just good. It's good. I, I think it's time to actually uh, head this on up. It's time for y'all to die. All right. Let's get you on out of here, buddy. Oh, are you leaving? Whoa, camera angle. Can we not do that? We cutting it close. I know we cutting it close. All right. Are you out of here? You're out of here. All right. Now, where are you? Why are you up there? What's going on here? Can you get down? Can you get down? I can't. Okay, there we go. Get down. Holy crap. That was annoying. Ooh, a crit for 10k. But anyway. All right. That was probably the most annoying time I have had doing this Leilai. But as you can see, the team synergy was, was spot on. I had constant healing. I had constant crowd control. Besides a little mishap at the end. But, um... Let's see if we can get a five-star drop here. That would be great for this video. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I need that five-star drop. And of course, because I'm, I'm recording, I'm not gonna get the five-star drop. But anyway, let me see how this looks. If it's a three, we may be good. No, it is not. It's only a two and it's not, not even all that good. But this is why team synergy matters because uh, my Chi Chi is at level, she's at level 60. She has the potential to go to 70. Yeah, 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 she's at 64. Um, I can level her up a little bit more. Deluke is already at level 80. Uh, my Sucrose, the one thing I do want to show off is she has 510 Elemental Mastery. She is at C6. This is why you, bro, I mean, even at C1, even at C1, she gains that additional charge. Obviously, this is, this is really, really good. She can do the thing. Um, with the weapon, uh, Sacrificial Fragments, if you have any Sacrificial book, if you, um, well, there's only one Sacrificial book, but if you have Sacrificial Fragments, you really should put it on her because it gives you Elemental Mastery. Um, as you guys saw, her attack stat, like, th that was, that's not physical damage. That's animal damage. So, even when her physical damage wasn't even boosted in that ley line, her damage was still crazy. Even with, you know, I built her, um... Let's see. So she's got crit rate, crit damage, not even all that much. So it's just kind of crazy how much she actually can do. Let's act that was that was those stats. So yeah, 78% crit crit rate uh crit damage, 16 crit rate, a, a shit ton of elemental mastery, 510 elemental mastery um for those for those swirls. Those swirls are so good because if you look at what Elemental Mastery does, um, the best thing that the Elemental Mastery does for Sucrose is her swirl. And it amplifies it by 177% of <clears throat> when, when, when swirl activates. Because swirl is actually an interaction that doesn't need anything else. So if, say, say for instance, you know, you just coming up on to, to a group of people. It's automatically going to activate Swirl no matter what. But if it's got fire mixed into it, if it's got water or anything else, it's going to add to that damage. So if you can make that Swirl good, she's good by herself. Now, I will say she's not good on a one-on-one -on -one situation. She is very, she's used for crowd control. Like it's crowd control, big damage crowd control. Like. And, and the reason why I say Sucrose is better than Venti is because yes, he does crowd control, but he doesn't get that that damage that that Sucrose can can build up. Because um, look at her, uh, I think it's her last constellation uh, triggers an elemental absorption. All party members gain twenty percent elemental damage bonus for the corresponding absorbed element during its duration. So when she brings out the 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 big butterfly thing. Everybody's damage gets boosted. 
It does. It's crazy. And she's easier to C6, obviously, now than Venti. So I'm not even sure what his C6 is. I really don't even want to go into it because, like, if you've got C6 cru uh, sucrose, it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't matter. So, like I say, you need sucrose on your team, especially when you're doing ley lines, especially when you're doing um, the abyss, anything that has to do with farming after level 40, because that's all you're going to be doing. You're going to be farming and um, waiting, waiting for the next update farming and waiting for the next update that's all you're going to be doing so why not put sucrose on your team make the team make sense but anyway if you guys have anything to add to this video go ahead and put it down in the comment section below thank you for watching if you made it up to this point thank you for subscribing if you hit that subscribe button it's free why not go ahead and do it just go ahead and do it you should do it like now but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been your boy mikey jtv and the mother of a place to be as always, guys. Peace.